How's it going folks? This is Jeff Benjamin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 13.5 with the help of a Windows machine this time instead of a Mac. Check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. All right, so first thing you want to do here on your Windows machine is to open up Internet Explorer and then go to altstore.io and then click where it says Windows Beta and then go ahead and save the Alt Store Beta. Then you want to click where it says Open Folder. You can close out of Internet Explorer. Right click on the Alt Installer, select Extract All and then click where it says Extract. All right, so you want to double click where it says Setup and then just click where it says Next. You can close out of the Explorer windows there. So click Next all the way through Select yes, and then click close. All right, so now you wanna to go to the start menu and then you wanna click where it says alt server. You can search for it if you need to, but it should be there in your recently added. So click alt server. And then here on the Windows Defender menu, click allow access. And because this is a brand new Windows installation, I haven't even installed iTunes yet. So it's telling me that iTunes is not found. You wanna click where it says download. That's gonna take you to Apple's website and direct you directly to the download you need. So just click where it says run and that will run the iTunes installer. Now the version of iTunes that's found on the Microsoft store doesn't work. So you have to use this version for this tutorial. All right, so once we run, it's gonna load up iTunes installer. Go ahead and click next, install, yes. And this will take a while to finish the, the installation there. But I have to say, I was really surprised at how many people were like positive and just like excited about the idea of jailbreaking in 2020. I just would never have thought it, but obviously I was very wrong in my assumption. So go ahead and click where it says yes. All right. And we'll just give it a few more seconds here. So if you guys do want a little more jailbreak coverage, I'm not going to do a lot, but if you want a little bit more, let me know. Thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments. All right, so go ahead and click where it says finish. And we'll say no for the restart request. Now you wanna go back to the start menu, go back to alt server. So click that and you may see a request to check for updates. So you wanna click check automatically. So keep alt server updated. And now it's gonna say, hey, iCloud is not installed. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. Just click download. It's gonna direct you to Apple's website directly to the download. Just click where it says run. Now this is all, all assuming that you don't have iTunes, you don't have iCloud installed. I wanted to start fresh and clean with the windows just so you could walk through the entire process. All right, so we'll click accept, next, yes. And we're almost completed with the iCloud installation. All right, so go ahead and click finish. This time it's gonna ask us to restart. I'm gonna go ahead and follow that request. So just click yes to restart. And we're booting back up. Obviously, I've sped this up just a little bit. All right, so once we're back up, you may see the iCloud window pop up asking you to log in. You can ignore that. Now what we want to do is go ahead and grab our iPhone. I'm using the iPhone SE second generation running 13.5. Just grab your iPhone and go ahead and connect it to your PC using a lightning to USB cable. And I'm using a dock just to make it easy so you can see. Now you should get a message saying, trust this computer. And once it detects the connection, just go ahead and tap where it says trust, put in your passcode to establish that trust relationship. Now you're going to see iTunes load up, go ahead and agree to the software agreement. Unless you want to read all that. I don't think you do. So iTunes will load up here once you agree. And you could just say no thanks on this screen if you wish. But the main thing we want to pay attention to is just to make sure your iPhone is recognized. You can see the iPhone right there. You can just click that and that will show you all the details about your iPhone. So this shows that your Windows PC recognizes that your iPhone is connected via that lightning to USB cable. All right, so now here's the fun part. We get to install the alt store. So you want to go down to the bottom right hand corner click this little arrow here and then click the little diamond icon and there you'll see install alt store and then select your phone 
and it's going to ask you to put in your Apple ID and password to authenticate with Apple so that you can sideload because Apple requires authentication in order to sideload applications. So once you do that, click install. And if you've installed Alt Store before on another device, it's going to tell you, hey, it's going to stop working on that other device. That's OK. Just click OK. All right. So now it's installing Alt Store to my iPhone SE. And we'll just wait for it. You should see it appear. There we go. So there is the Alt Store. And then you'll see a message saying installation succeeded. So that's very good news. So now it's just a matter of going back over to our iPhone. Uh, if you try to launch the alt, alt store, it's not going to work just yet. What we need to do first is to go to settings, general, device management, tap your Apple ID, and then tap where it says trust, and then tap trust again. All right, so now we can launch the alt store. Click allow, and there we go. So you want to go down to settings in the bottom right hand corner, tap that and then tap sign in with Apple ID. Now, if you get this error message saying could not find alt server, this shouldn't be a big deal. All you need to do is to unplug your lightning to USB cable from your PC and then plug it back in and then go back to iTunes to make sure that iTunes recognizes your device is connected. And it does. So you can see it right there. iPhone SE second generation 13.5. So we're good. So now if we tap sign in with Apple ID, it should actually connect to the alt server and allow us to sign in to alt store. So now I'm just going to put that same Apple ID, same concept here. This allows us to site load uncover jailbreak. So put your Apple ID and password in and then tap go to sign in. All right, great. So just tap got it. And now close out of the alt store, open up Safari, navigate to uncover.dev. That's uncover with a zero instead of an O. Tap where it says open an alt store and then tap open. And now you'll see a little loading indicator at the top. And I've sped it up a little bit. And once done, it will show the uncover jailbreak tool. So just tap where it says seven days. It'll load. And that will place the uncover tool right there on your home screen, just like that. So let's go ahead and open it up and now tap jailbreak. All right. So you'll see this little advertisement pop up. You just close that out and now look jailbreak completed. So tap OK. It's going to reboot your device. And once you come back up, you want to load the uncover tool again to complete the jailbreak. All right. So open uncover. Tap jailbreak again. And this will complete the 13.5 jailbreak. So just give it a second. We get the ad again. You can close that out. And now jailbreak completed. Tap OK. It's going to reboot again. And once you come back up this time, you'll notice that Cydia is now on your home screen. And now you can download all your favorite tweaks, themes, etc. And whenever you need a reboot, no big deal. Just load the uncover tool again. Once you boot back up, tap jailbreak and it'll reestablish your jailbreak. Doesn't take any time at all. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see more jailbreak related content, let me know down below in the comment section. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing a lot of it, but if you would like to see a top tweaks video, then let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with nine to five Mac.